Hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome back to my anime review. Today we're looking at the Junji Ito Collection, Episode 9. Finally, Tomi shows up. Yes! I'm so happy about that. I love Tomi. Tomi from uh, Junji Ito's like, stories is still one of my favorite manga collections from him. Um, you know, besides Uzumaki, Uzumaki, which being like probably my first favorite, and then Tomi's right underneath it though. But uh, to see Tomi at all, because I, I heard she was supposed to be in an OVA series, was kind of nice. It, you know, I felt that they did a good way of doing it too because they showed the concepts of Tomi and some of her powers, but didn't go too far into the depths of her. So they just, they left certain things out and all that. They didn't go really too, too far with it. And that's nice because if we have an OVA now for it, you know, they won't have to really, I say, I want to say like go back and, and kind of re-explain some of the things she can and can't do. Because as we saw with the first story, you know, she can't be killed. She, when she's, chopped up into pieces or whatever her body just regrows from those pieces and actually clones itself to make more tomies uh realistically there's supposed to be only one tomi of sorts and i won't go into the nitty-gritty of that in case you ever want to read the manga but that explains a little better than that and it's pretty interesting how that one tomi exists but i won't like i said i won't delve too far into that and i'll keep it spoiler free um and you know this is also by the way if you guys want to talk about Tommy and stuff like that you can do that but again spoiler free in the comments below you know just be nice our second story was interesting where we see this weird village that has these demonic kids and these this couple's passing through and these kids try to attack the girl and, and luckily they're saved by one of the one it seems like one of the villagers who tells them a sad story about how she lost his wife recently um she had this weird growth come out of her and you know, it made these blood fruits come out. It was really disturbing. It was very creepy to look at, by the way, the, the fruits coming out of her neck and stuff. But we find out that he's the one who actually caused that to happen to the, the village, uh, to her, excuse me, by sucking her blood. So anyone that he did that with and with magics and stuff like that, he was able to cause that. And he did that to all the villagers. Now, as we also find out, the only way to stop this from happening to yourself, from, from becoming a plant that spreads blood fruits, is you have to eat your own blood fruit and we see that at the very end and then the, it just abruptly ends which again is another junji ito collection quick ass story that just ends so abruptly it's like why why'd you have to end like that you know you could have ended a little better but you know i won't complain you know they had tomi tomi was here that was enough for this for me to save this say this episode was saved because of Tomi. I, I legit love Tomi that much in the stories i think she's awesome um and in case you guys also don't realize she's a succubus i mean if you guys kind of, I want to say friends the lines of it, you realize that she's like manipulating guys and stuff like that. It's kind of purpose. She gets power off them and various other things. But like I said, I won't go too far. I want, like, don't get me wrong. I want to spoil it. I kind of, when I was watching my friends the, uh, this week's episode, I kind of spoiled it here and there. I didn't do super big spoilers, stuff that, you know, wasn't going to be revealed. But I, I did talk about it a lot. I felt kind of bad. But I, I love Tommy's story. I think it's like really cool. Anyways, what do you guys think about this week's episode? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, guys, by the way, I'm not going to make a, vi a video about this, but if you see the review, you'll understand. Uh, I don't get partnered anymore by, by uh, Scale Labs because Kensho Network and Scale Labs kind of like had dropped a whole bunch of people. So I am not making money off YouTube right now at the moment. I don't know how I'm going to make money off YouTube. That being the case, um, the problem with that being is that I'm not going to do a lot of videos coming up. I'm going to be doing still what I have right now, but in the spring, probably less stuff. If you guys want to, and I'm going to say this more from now on, definitely support me on Patreon. It helps me out. I don't need the money, but it does help me. And it helps me just kind of give me more incentive to do more reviews, etc. because it's not really bothering me. But again, I don't need it. If you guys have extra money, feel free to donate if you want to support my channel out and help me do more reviews. Only a dollar. You don't have to do like twenty dollars ten dollars none of that crap you know i don't have super big rewards the biggest reward i have is a ten dollar thing you do once if you want and that's just if you want me to review a specific series that's like under 25 episodes i'll do that but you can see that in my patreon which is linked down below i will talk to you guys later have a great blessed day everyone god bless you all see you later or see you tomorrow technically because i have done reviews today bye